Coming up, a deep dive into seahorses and pipefish, but what's a pipe horse? You'll be an expert. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. The seahorse. It's one of the most mysterious animals in the ocean. Few people have ever seen one in person. And for scuba divers, finding one of these cryptic camouflaged fish on a dive is considered grounds for bragging rights. Seahorses are contained within the subfamily Hippocampini, which loosely translated from ancient Greek means horse-like sea monster. And while they certainly have a horse-like head, monster is a bit of a stretch considering that most seahorses are only a few inches tall and the largest one in the world is only a tad over a foot tall. Seahorses are part of a family of fish called Syngnathidae, which means fused jaws. This family of fish includes not only the seahorses but similar fishes known as pipefish. jaw means that seahorses and pipefish can't open their mouths very wide. If I was a seahorse, I'd have a very hard time eating a sandwich. Get in my belly. Seahorses and pipefish all have fused jaws, elongated snouts, a lack of pelvic fins, and a body covered in thick bony plates, making them somewhat unappetizing to predators. Hey everybody, have you subscribed? You know we only put out like one episode a month, so you're not gonna get a lot of notifications from us. So just hit the button. Pipefish in general look like eels with a seahorse head. They come in all colors and have become quite specialized for their environments. For example, the robust ghost pipefish has evolved to mimic seagrass. It floats within the seagrass undetected until it can grab some prey like a tiny shrimp or copepod. The ornate ghost pipefish has frilly projections that make it look a little like a feather star. It can camouflage easily among feather stars while waiting for prey. There's even a remarkable pipefish that looks exactly like Halimeda algae. While pipefish tend to be swimmers, seahorses have mostly become adept at not swimming. They have a prehensile tail for hanging on to things and staying very still to avoid detection. Some seahorses have taken camouflage to a very high degree of sophistication. The pygmy seahorse only a centimeter tall, looks just like the sea fan in which it lives. If it doesn't move, it's almost impossible to find. A large sea fan may host a dozen or more of these tiny inhabitants, but predators swim right by and never know they're there. In Australia, the leafy sea dragon has made itself almost invisible within seaweed with its stunning camouflage. And while this fish definitely looks like a seahorse, sea dragons are actually more closely related to pipefish. The weedy sea dragon, also found around Australia, definitely looks more like a pipefish than a seahorse. And another member of the family which defies easy classification, the pygmy pipe horse, which looks like a cross between a seahorse and a pipefish. But the taxonomy experts tell us they are pipefish that look like seahorses, 
not seahorses that look like pipefish. All seahorses and pipefish share one reproductive trait. The males care for the eggs. Most fish just release their eggs into the water and leave their fate to chance. But seahorses and pipefish protect their eggs until they hatch, giving their babies a little better chance to survive. Because the female expends a lot of energy making the eggs, it's only fair that the male spends his energy protecting them. Some pipefish males carry their eggs around on their body until they hatch. But other pipefish and the seahorses actually have a little pouch, like a kangaroo, where the eggs stay safe until they hatch. And when they start hatching, it must tickle, because the proud father immediately pushes them out into the world. At this point, the babies are on their own. No parental care or college tuition. Because seahorses and pipefish can't open their mouths very wide, they feed in a special manner called pivot feeding, where the seahorse snaps its head quickly, forming a small vacuum in the mouth which sucks in the prey. Occasionally a seahorse might literally bite off more than it can chew. Sometimes the food fights back. While seahorses and pipefish are mostly found in tropical oceans, a few species can be found in cooler, temperate waters. For example, the northern pipefish, found in the North Atlantic as far north as Newfoundland, Canada. I filmed this guy in Massachusetts. Pipefish go back further in the fossil records than seahorses, and most taxonomists believe that seahorses are the newest members of the family, basically highly adapted pipefish. And a recent study on their genome indicates that seahorses are one of the fastest evolving fish ever studied. So who knows, maybe in a few hundred years they will be sea monsters. That would certainly make diving even more fun. In the meantime, seahorses and pipefish are among the most magical and wondrous fish in the sea. It's certainly one of my favorite things to see on any dive in the blue world. Hey everyone, have you subscribed to our extras channel, Blue World Plus? It's full of great behind the scenes and additional fun content. Check it out now.